Mastering Research Auditing Audits are the hammer that forges a culture of excellence. When implementing research auditing processes, what is the primary objective that these audits aim to achieve, and how do they contribute to fostering a culture of operational excellence within an organization? The primary objective of research auditing processes is to ensure that research studies are conducted in compliance with applicable regulatory requirements, guidelines and standards, as well as the organization's internal policies and procedures. These audits aim to verify that research studies are conducted with the highest level of quality, integrity, and ethics, thereby maintaining the trust and confidence of stakeholders, including participants, sponsors, and regulatory agencies. Research auditing processes involve a systematic and independent examination of research studies to identify any deficiencies, non-compliances, or areas for improvement. These audits assess various aspects of research studies, including study protocol, informed consent, data management, study conduct, and reporting of results. The primary objective of these audits is to identify and mitigate any risks that could compromise the validity, reliability, and integrity of research findings. By conducting regular research audits, organizations can foster a culture of operational excellence in several ways. Firstly, research audits promote accountability and transparency within the organization. They hold researchers and research staff accountable for adhering to regulatory requirements, guidelines, and standards, which helps to build trust and confidence among stakeholders. Secondly, Research audits facilitate continuous improvement and learning within the organization. By identifying areas for improvement and implementing corrective actions, organizations can refine their research processes and procedures, leading to increased efficiency, effectiveness, and quality of research studies. This continuous improvement cycle helps to foster a culture of operational excellence, where research staff are encouraged to strive for excellence and to continuously improve their work processes. Thirdly, research audits help to ensure that research studies are conducted with the highest level of ethics and integrity. By verifying that research studies are conducted in accordance with ethical principles and standards, research audits promote a culture of respect for human subjects, animal welfare, and the environment. This helps to maintain the trust and confidence of stakeholders and promotes a positive reputation for the organization. Fourthly, Research audits can help to reduce the risk of non-compliance and associated penalties. By identifying and addressing non-compliances and deficiencies, organizations can minimize the risk of regulatory action, legal liability, and reputational damage. This helps to promote a culture of operational excellence, where research staff are aware of the importance of compliance and take proactive steps to ensure adherence to regulatory requirements. Fifthly, Research audits can help to improve participant safety and well-being. By verifying that research studies are conducted in accordance with ethical principles and standards, research audits help to ensure that participants are protected from harm and are treated with respect and dignity. This promotes a culture of operational excellence, where participant safety and well-being are of utmost importance. Finally, research audits can help to facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration within the organization. By identifying best practices and areas for improvement, research audits can facilitate the sharing of knowledge and expertise among research staff, leading to increased collaboration and innovation. In conclusion, the primary objective of research auditing processes is to ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, guidelines, and standards as well as the organization's internal policies and procedures. By conducting regular research audits, organizations can foster a culture of operational excellence, promote accountability and transparency, facilitate continuous improvement and learning, ensure ethics and integrity, reduce the risk of non-compliance, improve participant safety and well-being, and facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration. As I delved into the world of research auditing, I found myself surrounded by intricate processes, complex systems, and meticulous attention to detail. It was like stepping into a masterfully crafted symphony, where every element played a vital role in creating harmony. I was drawn to the nuances of this domain, much like an art enthusiast is drawn to the subtle brushstrokes on a canvas. 
At the heart of research auditing lies a singular objective, to ensure the integrity, reliability, and validity of research findings. This pursuit of excellence is not unlike the pursuit of beauty in art, where the artist strives to create a masterpiece that transcends the ordinary. In research auditing, the masterpiece is the confidence that stakeholders have in the research outcomes. As I navigated the landscape of operational excellence, I came across a biomedical research institution that exemplified this pursuit. Their research auditing processes were designed to identify and mitigate risks, ensuring that their research findings were accurate, reliable, and reproducible. It was akin to watching a skilled conductor bring forth a sublime performance from his orchestra. Every element worked in harmony to create something truly exceptional. The institution's approach was built around a culture of transparency, accountability, and continuous improvement. Their research auditing processes were not merely compliance exercises, but rather an integral part of their DNA. It was evident in the way they empowered their researchers to take ownership of their work, encouraged open communication, and fostered a culture of constructive feedback. One particular aspect that struck me was their emphasis on proactive identification and mitigation of risks. It was like watching a master chess player anticipate and counter every possible move. They had implemented a robust risk assessment framework that identified potential vulnerabilities in their research processes, allowing them to address these vulnerabilities before they could compromise the integrity of their findings. Through this experience, I gained a deeper appreciation for the critical role that research auditing plays in fostering a culture of operational excellence. It's not just about identifying and correcting deviations, it's about creating an environment where excellence is the norm, where researchers are empowered to push the boundaries of human knowledge, and where stakeholders can trust the research outcomes. As I looked deeper, I realized that this pursuit of excellence was not limited to the research institution alone. It was a testament to the power of operational excellence in driving meaningful impact. It was a reminder that, in the world of research, the pursuit of excellence is not just a nicety, but a necessity. In conclusion, the primary objective of research auditing is to ensure the integrity, reliability, and validity of research findings. By fostering a culture of operational excellence, organizations can create an environment where research excellence thrives and stakeholders can trust the research outcomes. It's a pursuit that requires meticulous attention to detail, proactive risk management, and a deep commitment to transparency, accountability, and continuous improvement. As I reflected on my experience, I was struck by the parallels between research auditing and the pursuit of beauty in art. Both require a deep appreciation for nuance, a commitment to excellence, and an understanding that the smallest details can make all the difference. It's a reminder that, in the world of research, operational excellence is not just a means to an end, but an end in itself, a pursuit that can lead to breakthroughs, innovations, and a deeper understanding of the world around us.